The award for best multimedia news presentation, it's sponsored by Google this year, and a large NPR team led by Alex Bloomberg found a creative way to show the hidden world behind clothes sold here in the US. They picked a simple t-shirt and followed its path. They flew a videography drone over a cotton field in Mississippi, i to take some notes on this one. Filmed factories in Bangladesh and found an amazing story behind a mundane piece of clothing by just simply following the story of that t-shirt. The judges saying that they meld text and video, text, they call it text too, and video so that they don't just coexist, they complement and amplify one another. And Alex came all the way from DC to accept the award. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I don't think, uh, that drone thing is supposed to be public, actually. Um, <laughs> Too late. It turns out we broke some laws doing that, but we're off the record here, right? Uh, so, um, you, so first of all, this is an amazing honor, and uh, I, I might be the only person in the room who never left the country to do this, so I feel like an utter fraud. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I just sat at my home base in New York, and everybody else, the team went out. Um, but we, you know, basically, we started with there. There, I'm going to. There's, there, here are two facts that sort of inspired our reporting. Uh, fact number one, about a year ago, the worst industrial disaster in the, in the history of the world happened in Bangladesh, where 1,000 people died in a garment factory collapse at Rana Plaza. Fact number two, four million people in Bangladesh are employed in the garment industry. And a lot of them will tell you it's the best job they could have ever hoped to get. Um, and what we wanted to do is try to reconcile those two facts. Uh, and so what we did is we looked at it, we took a simple item of clothing that almost all of us wear uh, and um, followed that piece of clothing around the world as it got created, a, t a simple t-shirt. Um, and along the way, uh, the way I think about the world was changed radically. I learned a lot of things that I had never knew. I learned, for example, that a cotton farm in Texas one, cent, one cotton farm in Texas will produce enough cotton uh, to make nine million t-shirts, enough t-shirts for every single person in New York City. I learned that uh, every single piece of yarn in every single item of clothing that we wear uh, has its own secret recipe that is as closely guarded by the, fact, by the companies that make it as, as the recipe for Coke. Uh, I had no idea that yarn was such a high-tech product. Um, and I learned that behind every single item of clothing, there is an entire global machinery uh, that we are all connected to, whether we know it or not. Um, I could never have obviously done this by myself. As I said, I never left the office. Uh, so, we, um, I, so a huge, huge thanks to the entire team. Uh, one of, I mean, the most talented group of people I've ever had the privilege of working with. The Planet Money team, uh, here in New York, the NPR News Apps team in, in DC, as well as the NPR Visuals team in DC, um, is on behalf of them and their amazing work that I accept this, this award. Thanks you so much. A citation in this category going to the Washington Post staff for their stories from the Syrian exodus.